Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a brick house. It's been quite well since I've made anything out of brick, and admittedly, this house is quite simple. Although, at least to me, this house has a certain charm to it. I don't know why it is. Maybe it's because I made it. It is also quite easy to make, so if you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You will need stone bricks, regular bricks, you'll also need stone, you'll need some stone brick stairs, and some glass pane. You could also use glass block, although it isn't really required. You will also need some iron bars, we're going to be using those as railings. And finally, you're going to need some sort of door. I'm going to be going with iron, but as always, the choice is yours. So once you have all of those materials, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm going to be making it right here. You're going to want to kick this off with a row of six stone bricks coming directly up from the floor. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Like so. And by the way, what we're going to be building now, a few of you guys asked in the comments if I could point this out every video, where we're going to be building now is going to be the front of our house. It's going to be the very front of our house, so bear that in mind whilst you build this. There you go, that's for those of you guys that always ask where the front's going to be. Continuing on, so from the top of our row of six, you want to go right of this top block by nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then connect that ninth block to the ground. Then return back up to the ninth block that you just connected to the floor and continue going right of it again by nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then again connect that block to the ground to give you something which should look a little bit like this. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, it's time for us to extend it back a little bit. So come behind the frame of the house that you've just made, and from each intersecting point between the vertical and horizontal row that we have, drag back the block that connects them together by nine towards the back of the house. That sounds complicated, but it really means this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. To give you something which should look, and remember, we're on the back now, that should look a little bit like this. What you then want to do is connect all three of those rows together, and then connect them to the floor to mirror exactly what we have on the front of our house. So, you're going to want to end up with something that should look exactly like this. And once you've done that, you have successfully done half of the ground floor frame. Once you've done that, you pretty much want to do the exact same again to do the other half of the house. So where these rows connect between the vertical and the horizontal row, again, just drag it back nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, the two others, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then again, connect them together. And once they're connected together, connect them to the floor. And once you have done that for the second time, you have made the entire framework for the ground floor, so you should end up with something that should look exactly like this. And to give you a bird's eye view, and I'm going to go to the front of the house, to give you a bird's eye view, you should just have a little grid, like so. Pause this if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, we're now going to do the framework for the second floor of the house. So come back over to the front of your house, and I think I'm going to mark this with something. I'll mark it with a bed, just so I know. Uh, ba -ba. Alright, so it's time for us to start working on the second floor framework. So you're on the front of your house, and you want to come to the middle of it. And on top of it, this block right here, it should be very easy for you to find. On top of this block, you want to go up by six with your stone bricks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then go to the right of that sixth block by nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then Connect that ninth block to the ground floor framework to give you something which should look like this. Pause that if necessary, 
Once you've done that, this next part is going to seem sort of familiar to you. So come to the back of the second floor framework that you've just done, and you want to extend the top two corner blocks towards the back of the house by nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the other corner as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You then want to connect those two ninth blocks together and then connect them to the ground floor framework to give you something which should look like this. You may remember doing this not too long ago. After you've done that the once, you want to do it again. So starting from the corners again, come back by nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, whoops, seven, eight, nine, the other corner as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, connect them together, and then connect them to the framework. To give you something which should look like this. What you then want to do, and this is a little bit different since we're leaving a quadrant out, is you then want to come to the side of what you've just made, and the back quadrant that you've just built, you then want to, again, where the blocks intersect, so these it could be argued that this is a corner block, although it's not really. You want to bring this over to the left, so over to the left side of your house by 9, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, in line with the ground floor framework, and the back corner as well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and just like you have done so many times, then connect those blocks together, and then connect them to the ground floor. To give you something which should look from the back view, a little bit like this. So you've left the front left quadrant of the house alone. You've just got it's just got the first floor because that's going to be turned into a balcony. We don't need an extra room there. So just to show you guys this from the front, it's very simple. I don't even really need to show you, it's quite easy. It should look a lot of something like this, and you might be able to imagine where the balcony is going to go now. Once you have done that, you've successfully done the framework for both the ground floor and the second floor. This is what we're going to do now. So this bit is actually quite painful. Excluding like the outer sides of this little quadrant here that's going to be the balcony. So this side, this side, and the second floor, this side, and this side. All of our little squares, and by little squares I mean these right here, need to be filled in with just regular bricks, and I mean every single one of them, except of course the ones that I've just outlined. So, just to show you, you just want to go all around the house, and apart from the little sections that I've just mentioned, you want to do this all the way around, and that includes these little inside areas here, and the bricks just want to sit one block back, in relation to the framework of the house. I'm not sure that I mentioned that initially, although you can see quite clearly from what I'm doing right now, the bricks just want to sit one block back. So really just inside the framework like this. So you just quite literally want to go all the way around. And this is, you know what? There's actually a few bits of the house that's kind of like this. It's a lot of monotonous, but you want to go all around the ground floor like this all the way around, and then you want to do the exact same thing with the second floor. So that is exactly what I'm going to do, and I'm, got, I'm not going to leave this in recording because it's actually going to take quite a while to do, as you can see. If I left it in, it'd add like an extra 10 minutes to the video. So I'm going to go away and do this, and I'll be back once I've done this to both the ground floor and the second floor. So I have literally just finished adding all of the bricks into our house. It took a little while, as predicted, ground floor, top floor, all the same. The only place that you don't fill them in, as mentioned, the front left-hand quadrant, which is our balcony. We'll do all of the work that's required for that a little later on, all individually. So once you've reached this point right here, and as always, pause this if necessary, of course, it's time for us to move on. So once you've done all of the brickwork, we're now going to take care of the entrances. One of the entrances takes us onto the balcony, and one of the entrances, which is right here, takes us into the house. So this is where you want to be, first of all. So this is what you want to do for the entrance, and as a matter of fact, it's probably just going to be easier if I make it and then show you guys the end result. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing, guys. Let me, let me see here. Entrance... 
then some upside down stairs. Very simple, it's it's not a very extravagant entrance, I will tell you that. Um, place stone bricks there, and then doors here, and then you can throw a button there if you so choose, open it up that way. If not, you can just use wooden doors if you so choose, and you don't need a button, but regardless of the fact, that is what the entrance should look like. Very simple indeed. Pause that if necessary, of course. Hopefully you guys can see how I've made that. Very simple. Once you've done that entrance there, you want to go ahead and do the same thing right here. The exact same thing. This is, as I mentioned, going to be the entrance onto the balcony. So, just doing the same thing. I really do hate stairs, guys. I really do. <laughs> Upside down. Why? There should be an option to turn off upside down stairs, and uh, the wood now does a similar thing like spruce wood and what have you. It does a similar thing where it like, um, it will face a certain way and I hate it, it drives me crazy, I wish I could turn it off, so... Oh, we have to place something underneath for the door to be placed. Um, I'm going to be using dark, uh, dark grey wool carpet, by the way, so... Um, that's why I'm placing dark grey wool underneath here where the doors have to go just so I can place it. I figure it may as well be the same material that I'm going to be using later on. So there you go, that is the second entrance to the house or out of the house depending how you see it. Pause that if necessary of course. Once you've done that, it's time for us to do the windows. So the windows are actually really simple and we're going to do them in the masses. So starting from the front, all windows that face towards the front or from the back of the house want to be this shape. They want to look exactly like this. So let me just show you the glass pane. I'm only going to be doing this once and then I'm going to uh, do it off recording. So all front and back facing windows inside of their individual panels want to look exactly like this. And I'll be doing that exact same thing to the panel above this one. So right here, and I'll be doing the same thing right there on the front, and I'll be doing the same thing four times on the back. That is what all front-facing panels, back-facing panels should look like. This is what all side-facing panels should look like. It is basically the exact same thing, just turned on its side, so it's the exact same pattern. And this is what all side-facing panels should look like. Any panel that is poised to the left or right hand side or coming from the left or right hand side, coming from the side of the house, should look exactly like this. Very simple indeed. So all front or back facing panels like this, all side facing panels like this. I'm going to go and do that all around the house and it's going to take a little while, that's why it's getting cut out and I will be back once I have done exactly that all over, so back in a moment. So I have just finished going all the way around the house, adding in all of the windows, as you can see just as I mentioned all front facing windows and back facing windows should look like this and all windows on the sides of our house should look like this. Very simple design, don't worry, they're going to look a little better a little later on. So, once you've reached this point right here, and as always, pause this if necessary, if you're still working on the windows, it's time for us to move on to the next bit. So, this is what you want to do, and we're going to do a little work with our balcony first of all. So, this is what you want to do for the corners of the balcony first of all. So. On the front, for the ground floor of the front of our balcony, you just want to do this in the corners of the panel, of the framework. You just want to have something which should look exactly like... I'm sorry guys, I was just adjusting my plans. Exactly like this. Quite simple. Then, come to the side and do something similar, except only with the top of the panel. Then, come into the panel and do a whole row of stone brick stairs facing this way on the bottom of the panel to give you something which should look like this. What you then want to do is come to the second floor and on the front left hand corner of our house place a stone bricks block like this and then do a row of iron bars coming from either side of that stone brick connecting to the second floor framework of our house. So you just want to have something which should look 
like this. And I figure that we may as well actually take care of the entire balcony now. I mean, we've just about done it anyway. So this is what you need to do. So for the ground floor of our balcony, you want to knock out the entire floor, all of the grass blocks like this, all of them, and you want to replace it with stone I almost said stone bricks, guys, but I actually meant just regular stone. So you just want to knock all of this out and replace it with stone. Don't replace underneath the windows. That is going to later on be dark grey wall. But replace all of this inside the little entrance to our house. Could you call it a courtyard? Probably not. But you just want to knock all of this out, all of the grass out, and replace it with stone. And what you also want to do for the second floor is for the second floor of our balcony, the actual balcony itself, you just want to fill it entirely in with bricks like this. So I've just about done it, but that is what you want to do. I'm going to go away and knock out this little section here, replace it with stone. I'm also going to finish off the actual balcony and I'll be back once I've done that. I'm cutting it out because this is going to take a little while, this little bottom bit. So I have just finished doing those two things I mentioned. It actually didn't take too long. I could have probably have left it in the recording, but the second floor, the actual balcony is just filled in with bricks, looking pretty nice if you ask me. And the ground floor part of the balcony underneath that leads us to the entrance, the courtyard maybe, is what you could call it, is just filled in entirely with stone. Looking nice, if you ask me. This is what we're going to do now. So once you've done that, and as always, pause this if necessary, of course, we've got some more monotonous work to do. I, I apologize, guys, I apologize. But this is what you want to do. You want to go around every single panel, so starting with this one right here, and you want to do this. You want to take out your stone brick stairs, and you just want to do four stone brick stairs in each corner of the panel, like this. And you want to go around the entire house, that's wrong, the entire house, and do exactly this. So, just to give you guys a little bit of a taster, this is what it's going to look like, and in my opinion, it dramatically increases the look of the house. So you could leave it off if you wanted to, but I wouldn't, and this is actually going to take a while. So even for the entrance, and I keep placing them upside down, not even the right way, God. Have I even played Minecraft? You just want to go all the way around, every single panel, exactly like this, and just do exactly this. Just a stair in every corner, preferably doing it right, unlike me, who cannot place stairs for the life of him. Come on. Just all the way around the house, you want to have exactly this and as you guys might imagine I'm going to be cutting out and I'm going to go all the way around and do this it's going to take a little while especially since I keep messing up so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'll be back in a moment once I've finished so I have just finished going all the way around the house guys that took so long it was ridiculous I kept misplacing them I just couldn't place some of the stairs upside down I hate it, there's got to be a trick to it. I've been all the way around the house and I've just finished all of the bordering, I guess you could call it, with the stairs. Just placed four stairs in each and every corner. And as you can see, or at least in my eyes, it actually does make quite of a difference. I think it goes with the windows, it kind of accentuates them because it kind of turns like the actual panel into a circular shape and that's kind of what the windows are going for as well. And I think it looks quite good. That's why I said that this house, or at least to me, has a certain amount of charm. I quite like it. So I've went all around the house, I've done that. Pause out if necessary, of course. Once you've done the same, it's time for us to move on. So the actual only external part of the house left for us now is the roof. This is what you want to do. So come up to the top of the frame of our house, and this is basically what you want to do. You want to add on another layer of stone bricks, all the way around the outside of the top of the house. So you just want to kind of trace around it like this. So just like this, I'll be done in a little moment. In just a giant L shape. So you just want to have something which should look a little bit like this from a top view. I think it's quite clear what I've just done there. What you then want to do once you have outlined the top of the roof is you just then want to go all around the outside of that outline with your stone brick stairs. So you just want to go all the way around the outside exactly 
like this. And you know what? It's getting dark and this is a perfect time to cut it out. I'm going to be back once I've been all the way around the roof with the stairs. Ah, glorious daylight. So, I have just finished doing the entire first row of stone brick stairs. Very easy. As I mentioned, you just want to outline that extra row of stone bricks that you did on the top of the house. What you then want to do is pretty much the exact same-ish thing three more times, except of course every with every layer you want to do it one row higher and one row backwards. So this is going to be the first layer of the three that we're going to have to do. So you just want to go all the way around like this. So this is one block higher and one block inward in relation to the first layer of our roof as you can see. That's the second layer. We have to do this two more times. So for the second layer, as I said, let's just use a use a block to start us off. So for the third layer of our roof, there needs to be four in total. If I could place it right, you just want to go all the way around the inside of the previous layer of the roof, one block higher, one block inwards. Very simple. So you know what, I'd actually cut it out, but we've pretty much done it. We just have one more to do after this. Very simple roof. There's nothing too complicated whatsoever. So that is the third section of roof. One more. So to do our fourth layer, face this way, knock out that block. Uh, got to face the right way, otherwise a stupid roof won't work. God, I really do hate stone bricks. All the way around. Exactly like this, just tracing along the inside of the shape. Nothing difficult whatsoever about this. And once you have finished that fourth layer of the roof, and I don't want you guys to get confused, as I started off saying that you wanted to do, you know, three layers of the roof. That wasn't including the first layer, so in total, including the first layer of the roof, the one where you went outside of the extra stone bricks that we added on top of the house, you want to have in total four layers of roof, so the one, two, three, four. Once you've done the fourth layer, you then want to fill in the top of the roof in with stone bricks, so you just want to do this. Mr. Block there. Ah, oh, God. Why is everything difficult today? Why, why won't the blocks place? So just the entire top of the roof, and really I, I should have cut this out, admittedly. But, um, you know, you know how it is. Got to leave something in there, right? Not really. So, as you can see, that is the roof completely done. Very simple indeed, it just traces along the top of the house. Four layers of the stairs, that rhymes. Uh -huh. Four layers of the stairs and then fill it in, in the top, with stone bricks. Very simple. And in doing that, you have completed the entire exterior of the house. And again, not to do my own horn, I really like the exterior of this house. I think it, I think it flows well, I don't know what it is. I'm not entirely sure, but I really do like it. So, in all cases, once you've reached this point right here, the entire outside of the house is done. The only thing that we have left to do now is replace the ground floor inside the house with dark grey wool and do the second floor of the house, which again, I'm just going to use dark grey wool. Also throw some stairs in there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't really feel any particular, I knocked that door out for now. I don't feel any particular need to, uh, to show you guys this whole process. As I mentioned, I'm just going to be knocking out this entire floor, adding in a second floor. Not anything that you guys really need to see. So I will be back once I've finished adding in both floors and the stairs and then we'll marvel at our house. So I have just finished doing the entire interior for the house. I know it only seems as though it's been a couple of seconds, but it's actually been hours. You've blacked out. So I haven't actually done anything groundbreaking in here, but I figure I'd just show it you as I said I'd be doing it. So first things first, you may notice replaced the original floor with dark grey wool. I always feel as though a darker carpet looks better, especially from the outside. 
My weekly service announcement is to remember to replace underneath the blocks that you can see underneath of like glass pane. I don't want to see grass block under there. I don't know why it really bugs me. Do your part to save the animals. Um, put some stairs in here, not any particularly fancy looking stairs, although fancy for me. Um, just stone brick stairs and then upside down stone brick stairs underneath each individual stair and then some um, dark grey wall blocks next to them as well. Coming up onto the second floor here we have some, god what are they called? Iron bars, I thought they were called iron railings for a second, but we have some iron bars which make up the railings to stop you falling back down onto the floor. We don't want any broken hips. Looks kind of cool if you ask me, and it's also in theme with the iron railings that we used outside for the balcony. And as you may notice, I kept the stone brickwork in here, um, where we did like the frame of the house. I don't know why, I kind of like it, but... You could also just replace it entirely with dark grey wool, I suppose. It really is your preference. Uh, something that I did that I didn't mention that I was going to do. Uh, I noticed on the second floor here, the glass pane, like here, the top row of glass pane, didn't have anything to grip, so I went all around what would be the third floor I went all around the outside of it with stone bricks, as you can see, and then I just filled in the middle of those bricks, the middle of the sections, in with a dark grey wall. But um, equally so, you wouldn't have to do anything if you didn't really want to, or you could just fill, knock out some of the framework, fill it all in with the colour of your choosing. Really does depend. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I've done to the interior. I'm not going to be doing anything else. You guys know that I hate doing interiors. Um, I usually do... Usually do replace the floors, add in some floors, um, do some stairs and what have you, but that is the extent of what I'm doing to this house. I'm not going any further. And that is the house tutorial. There is nothing left for me to show you at this point. If you've managed to follow the tutorial to a T right up until now, you should be left with exactly what I've showed you. You should have a nice little interior ready to be completely furnished and you should have the exterior of the house 100% fully done. As I mentioned, I mean, it really is a simple house. It's easy to do. Uh, a lot of it is monotonous. You've got to you've got to do a lot of windows and you've got to place a lot of stairs and this and that, but I really like it. Very simple. I think I'm going to start doing a few more intricate buildings with uh, some brick and maybe in this sort of style, but, you know, maybe getting a little crazier with it. So... As I mentioned, the tutorial is 100% finished. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it easy enough to follow. See you in the next one. <music>